What's up, everybody, and welcome back to TechnoV, the number one channel for your tech tutorials, news, and reviews. My name is Faraj Das, and in today's tutorial, we are going to be doing something insane, mind-blowing, dimension-bending, kind of. <laughs> today, we are going to be using Unreal Engine 5.3.2, and that's a lot of points, to be setting up hand tracking in virtual reality. It is a lot simpler than you might expect. We literally use two blueprints, no coding. So before we begin, we'll take these things. Well, how would we go about putting hands into the virtual world? Well, step one is to actually not use the OpenXR plugin. Yeah. We are actually going to be using the... Let the marketplace load first... Meta XR plugin. And how do we get it? Well, first go to the marketplace, search Meta XR, and then... <gasps> Where's the button that we get it? It's actually the external link button. Surprising, right? So then, once it loads up, it should take us to the Meta website where we can then download the plugin. Now, make sure that the version you are going to download, right now the latest version is 60.0, make sure that version supports the version of Unreal that you are going to be using. I am using 5.3.2 because it is currently the latest version, so without further ado, download. And just go ahead, wait for that to download, might take a minute, might take two, might not take a minute, and we're done. <laughs> okay, now, notice how it is actually a zip file, and we're not gonna extract it just yet. First, we would need to go to the C drive, program files, Epic Games, the version of Unreal you are using, Engine, Plugins, and keep scrolling until you see Marketplace. Now, keep in mind, if you do not have the Marketplace folder, you can make one. Just make sure that you spell it right and you have a capital M. Okay, so, now that you have this, copy the directory, go back, extract it to that directory. Very important. Click extract, wait for it to extract, and I'm just gonna have to keep going higher, won't I? And we're done. Okay, now you notice how it pulled up the marketplace folder, and it's not a zip folder anymore. Yes! So that means we know we did it right. Now, what we can do is, we have to fire up Unreal. Exciting stuff. Now, keep in mind, for this project, we will not be using the virtual reality template. We will be starting from scratch. Surprisingly, it makes things easier. So, now watch my creative naming. VR hand, uh, sorry. Hand tracking tutorial. Most creative name you'll ever hear. So go ahead and click create. And it might take a bit for this to load up. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, we're here. So go ahead and open up the plugins tab and just make sure that the meta. XR plugin shows up. Now, <gasps> the evil! How come it's not checked? Don't worry, we're about to do that now. So, check, and then click restart. And Unreal Engine should restart. <laughs> Give it a moment. Give it another moment. Give it a third moment. Give it a fourth moment. We're in! And just double check. 
Meta XR right there. Perfect. Now, I personally do not like this landscape level that comes with the blank project because it's not very blank. So I would, I, I personally like to go to file, new level, basic, much better. Now, what we get to do is we get to start on the real stuff. We get to start actually building out the character. So I'm going to create a blueprint. Where's my typing today? Folder. And then we're going to create a pawn. Okay. And I'm going to call it VR pawn, but this is your game. Feel free to name it whatever you want. Under VR Pawn, click on Default Scene Root, add a camera so we can see stuff, and then click on Default Scene Root before you do this next step, okay? Type Motion Controller and just Motion Controller Left. Now, make sure that um, in the details panel, if you scroll down, the motion source is left for the left hand. If it is, ready to move on. So click on default scene root again. Click add motion controller. And this time, it's the right hand. Left hand, right hand. But if you go ahead and look, <gasps> this is not good. We do not want left. We want right now we're okay but we're not done see so uh, we have the tracking working for location but we need fingers we need a hand we need a mesh so and it's not this next step is not exactly what you'd expect usually what you'd go is like static mesh or skeletal mesh or something but no here where this is special Savor it. So, Oculus XR hand. Beautiful. So, we are doing the right hand right now. Right hand. And make sure this is under the motion controller right. Not above, not next to. Make sure that if you click this arrow, or, um, well, if there is no arrow, that means you've not done it right. If there's no arrow, that means what you have to do is drag it onto the motion controller right, then you'll be good. So if the arrow collapses it, you're good. Now do the same thing for motion controller left. So go Oculus XR hand. And this time it's the left hand because we don't have two right hands. Yeah. <laughs> so click on right hand again, scroll back up until you see skeleton type and Keep in mind, this is the right hand, so we want the hand right. And then we, for mesh type, we want the hand right. And now we do not want to hide the actor, so change that to none. Now click on left hand. Make that skeleton type hand left. Make the mesh type hand left. This is super simple stuff, right? And then change hide actor to none. Now. One mistake I have made in the past that I don't want you guys to make is having all of this stuff right here, from here to here, all of this under the camera. If it is under the camera, it will not work. So make sure your hierarchy looks exactly like mine. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to do that. And then let's move on. So go to the event graph, this beautiful begin play. And then we're just going to do set tracking origin. We want that to be the floor. Easy enough right now? Sweet. So that was the most complicated part, actually. So it's all downhill from here. We get to right click, blueprint class. Now, this drop down for all classes is what we want. And we want to search up game mode. Don't click on game mode base. That's a warning. Click on game mode. And then name it whatever you want. I'm going VR pawn game mode. Oh, caps lock goes on. 
game mode. Double click. I love double clicking. Makes me feel powerful. So then, uh, over here in details, you see default pawn class. Change default pawn to whatever you named your VR pawn. I named mine VR pawn. So creative. Then, go to edit, project settings, scroll all the way down to plugins, and under plugins to meta XR. And where it says hand tracking support, it says, oh, no, how could you do this to me? We do not want controllers only. We want hands only. Controllers and hands would work too, but we want hands only right now. Hands. Then go change low to high and change hand tracking version from default to V2. We want the most advanced hand tracking model they have. Now you can go ahead and play with the, all these settings here. Change some stuff, have fun. But for keeping the sake for the sake of keeping this video short, that's all we're gonna change here. Then we are almost there. We are so close. We are almost there. Okay. Next, go ahead and launch the Oculus app. Go to settings and go to beta. Now you wouldn't be able to see anything under demo mode. Why is that? Because you need to create a Meta developer account. Keep in mind, this is different from just simply checking developer mode on your headset. So go ahead and do that. I've already done it, which is why all of this is showing up. But keep in mind, it, it is completely free, but it will ask you for your credit card or your phone number. Once you've created a meta developer account, you will be able to see all of this stuff. So you can enable developer runtime features. And I just decided uh, to enable pass through over Oculus Link, but you do you. M but make sure developer runtime features is enabled. That is, that's the key. Then once you have that, you're ready to run. Actually, no, sorry. I uh, forgot to mention a step. So go back to project settings, type game mode. Uh, under default game mode, change it to the game mode you just created, VR Pawn game mode. Now we should be good. So it knows what to uh, run. Uh, the, let me, let me, yeah, we're good. Not forgetting anything. So go ahead, click on the three dots. Do not click the play button. Don't you click that play button. Click on the three dots. Click VR preview once you've connected your headset by link or Air Link or virtual desktop, whatever you want to use. Click VR preview and it works. You can now see my hands in virtual reality, hand tracking. You get all the buttons. It comes with it. Shadows are being casted. Beautiful Lumen. Nana is supported. Life is amazing. Okay. How cool is this though? Like, my hands, headset, VR, Unreal. I love it. I love it so much. All right, everybody. So we have reached the end of this tutorial. I hope this helped you create hand tracking, get, get hand tracking working in your Unreal Engine 5 game. Now, don't forget to like this video if it was helpful and subscribe if it was totally awesome. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to put them in the comments below. I will answer them as quickly as I possibly can. Now, we, did you know that TechnoV also has a Discord server? Yeah, the link is going to be in the description below. So don't forget to join. And I will see you in the next video.